During World War I, Germany used a fleet of 351 submarines to wage submarine warfare against Allied forces. Faced with a naval blockade by the British, the Germans responded by declaring the waters around the British Isles a war zone on February 4, 1915. Although their submarines had fairly limited success against fast British warships, merchant and passenger ships plying the war zone were excellent targets for torpedoes. The loss of passenger ships such as the transatlantic liner Lusitania eventually forced the United States to enter the war on the side of the Allies. On July 19, 1918, the twin-screw submarine U-Boat 110 was pursuing a merchant ship in the North Sea off Hartlepool and was attacked by convoy ships. When the boat was forced to surface due to damage from Allied depth charges, it was rammed by the British destroyer HMS Gary. After the ramming the boat sank, but in the same year it was raised from the bottom and put into dry dock at the Swan Hunter Wigham Richardson Limited shipyard in England for subsequent restoration. These photos of her unusually cramped and equipment-filled compartments were taken before the armistice on November 11, 1918. There was no point in restoring the boat in peacetime, and she was scrapped. The central position at the stern on the starboard side. The photo shows the hatch to the periscope well and various valves for diving and surfacing. UB-110 in dry dock. Another photo from the dry dock. Electrical control panel. One more photo of the electrical control panel. Aft torpedo room. Engine room. Electrical switchboard room. Central post. The photo shows the submarine's horizontal rudder control wheel, depth and fuel level indicators. Table and lockers in the stateroom. Compartment 3, crew lockers. Forward torpedo room. The four torpedo tubes. View of the torpedo compartment from the stern. The crane girder for lifting torpedoes is seen at the top.
Electrical Control Panel, View of the Engine Room and Aft Torpedo Bay. Crew Quarters in Bay 6. Bay 5, Starboard. Crew Rest Room. Central Post. The photo shows the handles for raising and lowering the periscope. Central Post. The photo shows the depth gauge, machine telegraph, dive and surfacing valves, and the submarine's horizontal rudder control wheel. Central Post. The photo shows the temperature and air pressure control knobs. Forward Torpedo Bay. Central Post. The photo shows the gyro compass, helm, machine telegraph and intercom pipes. Diesel engine. Do you think it was easy to operate such a submarine? Write your opinion in the comments. Thanks for watching lads, if you like this video please give a like and subscribe to the channel, see you all in my next video.